Computers are becoming very powerful. Artificial intelligence is no longer confined to the laboratory, but instead has become integrated into every aspect of our lives. We rely on AI to help us make decisions as simple as what movie to watch or what route is best to avoid traffic. But AI is not only used in entertainment and navigation, it is now being used to make more complex, high-stakes decisions. AI now determine who is able to get a loan, a job, or even health insurance. Social media algorithms determine what news we see. Our savings are held in financial markets dominated by algorithmic trading. And we will soon share the roads with self-driving cars. This rapid growth of AI has outpaced our ability to understand the consequences of their behavior. This lack of understanding has opened the door to unexpected biases and unethical behaviors. For example, a pricing algorithm might cause an online store to charge you a higher price than your friend for the exact same product because you buy it more often. But AI today are often extremely hard to understand due to their complexity. And to make matters worse, companies refuse to share their AI in order to protect their intellectual property and corporate interests. So how do we understand these AI? We take a lesson from the history book on the science of animal behavior. In the 1930s, scientists started putting mice in the closed environment of a box to study how they responded to temperature. By only looking at the inputs, called stimuli, and the output behavior, the box became a critical tool that allowed for the controlled study of animal behavior. We now want to do the same for algorithms. Introducing Turing Box, the controlled environment for the study of AI. Turing Box allows us to alter AI's inputs and observe their outputs in a replicable way. It is a two-sided digital market that enables the behavioral study of AI and the production of new, transparent AI. But who wants to study AI? And where can we find them? With Turing Box, contributors can upload AI to be easily benchmarked against others on the site. This allows anyone, not just computer scientists, to study AI. So let's go back to our online store example. You might upload your own pricing algorithm, which Turing Box automatically compares to all other pricing algorithms on the site. This allows you to know how your AI stacks up for metrics such as profit maximization and fairness. If your algorithm meets a certain standard, it is then certified Turing Box Stable, which means it can be trusted by the public and you can gain valuable reputation in the AI community. Today, if you want to study and compare AI, you'd have to build them yourself. In other words, you'd have to be a computer scientist. But there are others who want to study AI. For example, an economist may wish to study whether different AI perform questionable price discrimination. A political scientist may want to study whether an AI deciding parole cases is unfair toward a particular minority group. We want to allow anyone to study AI. To study an AI's behavior, you would launch a box on our platform. For example, to study online store pricing algorithms, you might provide a data set of user profiles including characteristics such as age, location, and purchase history. These profiles would then be sent through the pricing algorithms. The measured output would be the price each user profile sees in their cart. You might then analyze the data to see if different users with different characteristics were shown different prices. This would help you understand the fairness and accuracy of that AI. The applications of Turing Box are endless. Turing Box will allow us to study the AI that impact us on a daily basis, such as the algorithms that determine our interest rates, match us on dating apps, or decide what song to play next. We believe the next revolution in AI will come from democratizing the way people study it. Turing Box will help to understand the behavior of artificial intelligence in a transparent, collaborative, and replicable way. Join us as we begin to understand the behavior of the algorithms that shape our world.